In our previous video, we unboxed the Amazon Fire TV stick. This is the full review after 2-3 to three days of usage. The device is an HDMI dongle and it does not impress externally thanks to its rectangular plastic design. The TV stick weighs 32 grams. The TV stick is almost plug and play and it needs to be USB powered to work. HDMI port of the Fire TV stick is not gold plated which is very surprising at this price point. The Fire TV stick priced at 3999 is made in China and is pretty sturdy and well built. The Fire TV voice remote would always be in your hand while using this product. It is mechanically sound to the Alexa remote sold abroad and it wobbles on a flat surface. The seven small buttons on the voice remote are made of rubber and the D-pad is made of a glossy shiny plastic. The buttons have a nice feel to them and the feedback that the keys offer is great. The voice remote has an excellent in-hand feel but it is slightly disheartening to see that the remote needs two AAA batteries. The box includes an HDMI extender in case you have a wall mounted TV and your HDMI ports are inaccessible. Amazon recommends powering up the stick by using the included power adapter but I just connected the Fire TV stick to the TV and it worked. I got the following error but the functionality wasn't hampered so it's not a big issue. Amazon markets the Fire TV stick as portable but I would say that is only partially true thanks to the power supply requirement. If you plan on carrying the Fire TV stick, all you have to do is configure the wireless connection in the new place. Though I would like to add that entering the password using this keyboard layouts and the remote is slightly painful. The Fire TV stick is based on Android and it's only suitable that we talk about the specs. The Fire TV stick has a 1.3 GHz MediaTek quad-core processor with 1 GB of RAM and 8 GB of internal storage. The other specs include a dual band MIMO Wi-Fi and Bluetooth 4.1. In 2017, nobody would buy an Android phone with the specs that the Fire TV stick has. But the specs are great for a seamless media experience on this device. GPU is a Mali 450. The TV stick runs on Fire OS which is based on Android but it is highly Amazonized to say the least. Just 5.94 GB is available for use but that won't be an issue as Amazon has highly limited the amount of apps you can download on this Fire TV stick. The Fire TV OS runs really smooth and it does not feature fancy split screen multitasking. The only amount of multitasking it can do is playing a music in the background. The app catalog on the Fire TV OS is not that great and there is no way to put external apps without cracking the Fire TV stick. We saw a lot of labels on the box of the Fire TV stick in India but none of those apps come pre-installed and we'll come to all of those later. OS also features a way to set the video quality and monitor your data usage if you plan on using this on a 4G limited wireless connection. OS also includes parental control so parents can control how much television the children are watching. You can also adjust the display resolution and even mirror your screen and have demoed that feature ahead. The OS also has a few features to help the differently abled. Killer feature of the Fire TV stick is the built-in voice search which is baked right across the OS. Shahid Kapoor. You can search for the following things and the voice search is pretty excellent but we'll talk about that in detail later. Have a look at the following examples. The Mentalist. Anushka Sharma. Jack Reacher. Randeep Huda Voice search on the Fire TV was able to take requests from every member of my family. Saif Ali Khan Preeti Zinta Katie Holmes Angelina Jolie Shrek Steve Jobs Urta Punjab Those were the samples of voice search on the Amazon Fire TV stick. 
I'll give you my overview at the end of the video. Gaming on the Amazon Fire TV stick is a huge disappointment thanks to the poor catalog of games. They feel like games from 2004 on a Nokia 3310. Partial reason for this poor gaming is Amazon's restriction of apps on its Fire TV store. I've picked three games to show you the primitive nature of gameplay on this device. The game is controlled using the D-pad and the center button and all you have to do is run, collect the coins and hit the bad guys. Next I tried Volleyball 3D and it was a very difficult game to play and I didn't really enjoy it at all. The game developer could not even create humans for this project and controlling the players is very difficult indeed. Probably the best game on the Fire TV store is Flappy Birds and it is hands down the best game to play on this device and it was actually a little bit of fun too. And yes, like its mobile apps, this game is very very addictive too. The game is controlled using any of the directional pad buttons or the center button. Fire TV stick is compatible with Bluetooth game controllers but they are frankly overpriced and unnecessary for this device as the playback is very limited thanks to Amazon's selectivity. I tested the streaming performance of the Fire TV stick on a 4 Mbps and a 50 Mbps broadband and the streaming was nearly lag free on both of these services. The TV stick can provide an output of 1080p at 60 frames per second and Dolby audio and this is a fine example of the great quality. This is a bad idea. I played this action it's sequence from Jack Reacher in my home theater and the 5.1 channel surround system loved the audio that the Amazon Fire TV stick had to offer. An amazing feature of the Amazon Fire TV stick is the ability to support wireless Bluetooth earphones. That means you can now watch that midnight football match without disturbing anyone. The Amazon Fire TV stick can also mirror your smartphone's display if the smartphone is compatible. Mirroring works really nicely but the lag is evident. In case you feel like ditching the voice remote, then you can always download the Fire TV app from the iOS store or the Play Store. The user interface of the Fire TV remote app is pretty simple and it pairs when you are connected on the same wireless network. The Fire TV app is really useful to type those long phrases which you otherwise would not like typing on the voice remote and also to access few apps on the go. However, you cannot forget the original Fire TV remote while you are going to places as you cannot pair the remote app without the original voice remote. YouTube is fully supported on the Amazon Fire TV and the user interface is pretty simple. The app features the standard functions like liking, disliking, subscribing to a channel and playing, skimming and pausing. A great touch is voice searching for the apps you need. Ghana.com Ghana.com is a pretty simple app and there is no complex functionality like compiling and playing songs one after the other. Voice search is not integrated in this and that is a slight disappointment. But yes, Ghana.com can play in the background so you can listen to your favorite tunes while surfing. Hotstar, one of India's most famous entertaining apps is also there on the Amazon Fire TV store. And let's just watch the highlights of an IPL match and see how good the streaming is. Other than the occasional drop in quality, Hotstar works really nice. And as expected, Amazon has also given Netflix support. Since I'm not a member of Netflix, I really wouldn't be able to comment on how well the app works. So to summarize about the voice searching capabilities of the Amazon Fire TV, the voice search is very accurate and is very fast at delivering the results, but it is not at all smart and not at all intuitive. I searched for the second season of Mentlist and it showed me no results. But manually going to the mint list showed me that there indeed was a second season on the Amazon Prime's video portal. Another major con of the voice search is that it is not deeply integrated throughout apps. 
Alexa, which ships on US Fire TV sticks, is very intelligent and even can do tasks like booking an Uber or ordering a Domino's pizza. Amazon Prime should get more titles from its US catalog and keep on improving the content. They should also introduce Prime Music, which can be deeply integrated with the Fire OS. Amazon should do away with content censoring in India. The Fire TV Stick is a refined way to enjoy your online content on your HD TV. The device packs in an excellent fast voice search and the UI is highly the popular. Audio visual output is also great at 1080p 60 frames per second with Dolby Audio. Some cool features include support for wireless Bluetooth earphones and display mirroring. The best part is all of these goodies come in a very slim and portable package. The Amazon Fire TV Stick has an operating system which is highly Amazonized and we need to get a lot more features and bring in the open Android experience. Even on the Amazon Fire TV Stick is a big joke and a huge no. The current con of this device is that the voice search is not integrated into third-party apps. Amazon Prime in India does not feature Amazon Prime Music yet and the Prime Movie section has a lot of titles missing, which is a big disappointment. To talk about things which could have been better with the Fire TV Stick, the device should have been powered solely through HDMI. The Amazon Fire TV Voice Remote should have been a rechargeable remote not working on AAA batteries in 2017. Amazon needs to keep on adding more content and bring in classic cinemas and movies which are currently missing. We need Alexa in India. India is getting smarter and the Amazon Fire TV Stick does not feature a smart voice assistant and we solely need Alexa to fill in that blank. And lastly, the product is priced at 3999 while the US product is priced at $30. So there is a huge price margin in India that should be eliminated at the earliest. So the price would definitely be slightly lower. So you've had a look at the Amazon Fire TV stick and now you might have a huge question. Should you buy it? So the simple answer to that would be if you're someone who lives, eats and breathes on the internet and uses a lot of online content, then yes, you should definitely get the Amazon Fire TV stick and enjoy that content on your TV. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe if you like this video.